worry about this fact because I have it written down. <laughs> <laughs> and unlike other, there's an assumption that women who are left by war must be missing the men who are gone, and this is usually true, but not always. And this isn't a song or a story, this is more of an apostolic nature, a letter, if you will. <clears throat> to my most noble patroness and queen, I send greetings. The able-bodied men of the village have followed their lord to the king's war, and the effect has been profound. The young men are all gone. Not one drunken brawl has there been. Oh! <laughs> the cowgirl, though she'll never be right in her wits, no longer sobs all the way through towns. The shrieking, if any of those young gentles approached her, was most distressing. Father Matthew says she should repent of the faults that both lured them into sin and caused her mental deficiencies. Old Agnes, the miller's mother, doesn't limp much anymore. Her broken arm is almost healed, and her face has no new bruises. Father, Matthews ask, Father Matthew asks her daily if she has prayed for her son's safe return. The old men and the children who remain cart mercilessly, mercilessly at the women at first. Mary and her daughters closed the tavern and came here to the convent for a week, leaving the men nowhere to go other than their homes or the village square. Oh, don't misunderstand me. Wisdom and experience have much, to, much of value to contribute, and the women listen willingly. But the women are doing the work of the village, not the old men. As for the boys, the blacksmith sisters have given them an education, <laughs> shall we say? <laughs> Our youth is the politest I've ever encountered. Elizabeth Weaver and Amy have made their respective homes and businesses prosperous again. Really, they always should have been, but their husbands would gamble on which of them could lose the most money. Father Matthew says they should give of their newfound wealth, that the tithe they pay is not nearly enough. It has only been 12 days. We are all aware that in less than a month, the men who survive will return. While I would hesitate to say that any woman prays for the death of her man, the sense of ease in the village suddenly disappears when we ponder the end of this season's war. However, Father Matthew has been most devoted in his duties. Not a day goes by that my sisters and I are not reminded of the sin of Eve, the frailty of women, and our proper place in this world. In fact, it is almost time for Mass, and I must bring this missive to its close. I remain your most devoted servant. A, a postscriptum. Do you think His Majesty could use another priest? <laughs> <laughs>